name is Francis Quigley. I work for a company called Riverhouse Agri. We specialise in design of uh, agricultural buildings, planning and design of farmyards. What we've actually got into is actually drones and using drones to actually survey the overall farmyard and to get a picture of the entire farmyard and actually to bring a 3D model created using the drone into the software. The farm building is designed in full 3D. All the details are incorporated in the building, so gutters, drain pipes, steel frame, cubicles, slats, agitation pines can all be clearly seen in the 3D drawn. It's a great way to be able to go in and look at the layout and how it's going to work. You can make changes easily based on what you actually see, so it's going to be much closer, much easier to visualize than looking at a, a 2D drawn. So just a crush uh, down along here, you're collecting area here, the cubicles down along and um, your tank and everything underneath so which is sections rude with your tanks and your suspended cubicle beds so it just gives a, a nice clear picture of the actual structure of then when I come back from surveying the farm with the drone what I'll do is I'll upload those photographs to a uh, software. This actually processes uh, all the different photographs, joins them together and it actually creates a full 3D pine cloud, so it's a full uh, 3D model of the uh, buildings, uh, trees, uh, anything basically that's in that yard will be modelled. First of all, we'll bring in that 3D pine cloud into uh, the drawing software, and in there, then we'll add in maybe details that have been missed by the the survey, such as the walls and bits and pieces that um, might be needed, uh, maybe some gates as well. So then what we can do is we can combine the actual 3D model of the building into the existing farmyard. So what you're doing is you're actually placing the proposed new building down in the existing farmyard so you can see how it's going to fit and how it's going to work. The beauty of doing this is that it's, I suppose, completely 3D. You can see the full layout. You can see access paths, how they're going to be affected. You can see the bits of the trailer still poking up here from the other model. Feed passages, how they're going to work. So uh, access up along, and in this case now the cows, you can look at the route the cows are going to have to take. Coming along, up and into the passageway here. Down along this passageway and into what would be the new extended collection yard here in this area. The cows then are going to go into the collection yard up here and um, into the parlour. When they're coming out, then uh, you can look at the roofs coming out, out through the drafting area here, uh, down along uh, the passageway here, and back into the rear feed passage area here, and they can find their way back out. Uh, it allows you to look at you know, access for other vehicles, such as the tractor and die feeder, or even getting in for access for agitation, all of those can be looked at. It's much, much easier even getting in uh, access in around the side street. How is that going to be affected by the new building? It really allows a good, clear understanding of how the uh, new building is going to fit into the existing farmyard structure.